it was stressful at the start having two houses taking everything across and if I forget something I'll have to go back in the week and it was very like time consuming but now my mum's moved again and it's literally a street around the corner which is much easier I can nip around whenever I want I mean I don't need to stay at my dad's I can nip in and see him for five minutes before I go out we get a phone call and he'd be like, oh, I'm popping over, you know, and it's like, well, we can't, we're not there at the moment, you know, and he'd be like, where are you now? But, um, yeah, he, he was, I think if anything, he could have arranged to come and see us more and actually kept his promises as well because he just, he never came on time <laughs> or if he even came at all, <laughs> you know. Oh, I see my dad most week, most days. He comes around to give my mum some money to get like dinner, all for that week. And then I might see him on a weekend, just to say, just for him to come round and see how we are. Having two houses is annoying because there's one bedroom. You've got two bedrooms basically, so you used to staying in one bedroom for a full week, and then you had to change to a different bedroom with a different bed, and a different quilt cover, and a different smell to what your house smells like, and it's really annoying because then you expect to go home after the weekend thinking that that's still your bedroom, that's still the smell of your house. It's horrible, I hate it. They used to stress me out a lot whenever I went to my dad's because I used to worry about not coming home and I really didn't want to stay there because it wasn't my home. You know, he, didn't, he, he never really made any effort to make it homely for, for me, yeah. which uh, my room at home at my mum's house was quite homely and, I, I like being there more. Like this house, I've got my cool room, my spray paints and that kind of stuff. My dad's house, I've got like a huge king size bed and like computers and all that kind of stuff and you know, all, all that stuff. And so it's nice to have that kind of difference in both what I don't want here, I can have in that house. So I get to pick. I don't really like my dad living with me because we've got one TV in the house and he'd probably watch it the most and we wouldn't be able to watch our own programmes, which I get to do now. And um, I probably wouldn't like to live with him anyway because he eats a lot of smelly food, like pilchards and weird fish. The negatives of going between um, back and forth between houses, so it's probably the movement of your stuff, forget forgetting something and having to come back, forgetting homework and not giving it in on time and getting a detention or something, or like there's so much stuff to bring, like I have to bring my clothes, my uniform, toothbrush, phone charger, um, and Xbox for me. <laughs> um, it was hard, but it, it gets easier and you get used to it. And you start, I started making individual stuff at each house, like make sure I have like my own flannel and hairbrushes at one house as the other. So it wasn't as hard taking things across. There'll be weekends where I just don't want to go to my dad's house because I've been so stressed that week and I just want to go to my friend's house. But I still popped up back to my dad's house to see him for like an hour or two and to raid his cupboards. <laughs> and just to like speak to him about how his week's been and all stuff like that. Like he's got a new girlfriend now, so I like to speak to him about that.